Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more Legends of Breath of the Wild. We are currently exploring a little bit more of the open world, and Kaponga Village Ruins. I'm, isn't Kaponga Swamp? Isn't that the place from Link's Awakening that I've been looking at? That's cool. Anyway, let's grab this goat's meat. Then figure out what these acorns are doing here. Possibly. It looks like I can't track acorns, which is weird. You'd think that you could, but apparently not. They don't seem like that weird of a thing to track. Oh, there's another... Wiz robes. Wiz robes? Wiz, wiz, wiz robes. It's always plural, apparently. Ah, words are hard. I think I'm a little bit tired, possibly. But anyway, let's go have a look at this wiz robe. Oh, hello. I can only shoot one, okay. Let's use our soldier's claymore now. Oh, dodge. Oh, he's moving again. Come on. Oh my goodness, you're just gonna stay up in the sky, are you? Did I take a picture of you? No, I have not. Take that, there we go. Also, isn't there a... If I press the self-portrait button, I can just take pictures of stuff on me. And also pose. But I don't think that's the... Now's the time for that, so let me just dodge. Ow! Oh, grab that. Yellow choo choo jelly, a jiggly substance that came from an electric choo choo. Electricity pulses through its uh, gelatinous mass. If struck, it will explode in a burst of electric current. Okay, where is this thing? Oh my goodness. Hightail Lizard, okay. Please, hit him! Thank you. Get him a little bit more, get him a little bit more, get him a little bit more, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Ruin his day! Make him pay the price. At full price. Oh my goodness, ow! Oh, he made me drop my weapon as well. Electric keys. So many things, why? Why? Oh my goodness, also trying to target him is just difficult. There we go. Now, if I get out my camera again and go back to self-portrait, I can press... Uh, I think it's... Oh, I can just use the right stick to dip, choose a different pose, apparently. Depending which direction I point it. So that's cool. But also, I've run out of space in my album, so... I need to actually delete pretty much all of them, so let's just do that. Here we go. And we still keep these ones. But speaking of that, we can also s review cutscenes or memories from this, I believe, by selecting this or something. It has a little marker on it, so I'm assuming... I don't... Maybe not, but I think if I go to... If I go to... No, if I go to here... And then go to here, then you can rewatch them. Okay, let's re grab our stuff that we dropped on the ground everywhere. Oh, what is. Oh, that's the key. Electric key swing. A rare electric key swing. The part of the electric key that produces electricity is not in its wings, so it won't shock you. Toss it into. Uh, in with some critters to make elixirs. Okay. I'll just drop my traveler's shield. Rusty Halberd, or have one of those, or have seen those before. Is there anything in this house I should know about? There's a ch there's a chest right there. Okay, let's have a look at this. Purple rupee. I guess that's pretty much pretty worth it. So, but anyway, let's just keep moving now, since we're very close to that shrine. There's also some other things, I think. What's in that water? Oh, that's something interesting. We'll have a look at that in a minute. First, I want to take a picture of this Hightail Lizard. <laughs> that's not a great picture since it's just covered in grass, but still. I don't really need it in there, so. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! Oh my goodness. These alphas are very quick. This our boomerang. A curved sword, favoured by the Lizalfos. It can be used to attack directly or can be thrown like a boomerang. 
probably don't need it though. But yeah, we can actually, um... That's not very subtle, are you? There's three here. We can actually see where Kakariko is over there. That's the tree that we saw one time. Now, I usually glide from there straight down to the shrine, so... That's probably a more recommended way to get down here. Than just walking directly. From a different place entirely. This owl spear, the brutal ripping edge of this weapon's spearhead is uh, distinctly Lesalfo's design. Its low durability doesn't lend itself to extended use. Okay. That's probably good. There's also another one over there, so I'm just gonna leave him do his own thing and go into the shrine instead. Okay, sunken scoop. That's fairly, um, pretty much hitting the nail right on the head. It's literally a magnesis magnet metal scoop that's just underneath the water that I can use to pick up these bowls. The orbs. The orbs. And then if I can tip it a little bit enough, dropping that in there, the orb into the thing. We can just keep taking it with me, I guess. I don't think I need it, though. Maybe? Probably. Well, there's some more orbs, so... I could also just scoop more orbs out of the other one. If I really needed to. Let's grab that. Let's just... Oh my goodness. Go absolutely insane. Grab that. Can I just put that into it, or do I need to actually, like, throw it? Or maybe a bit of both? <laughs> Try that again. There we go. Now let's grab that again. And then... Oh, I see a problem. Well, anyway, that's fine. Let me just put the orb here, if possible. I can't see what I'm doing. Come on, game. Okay, that's good, that's good. The orb is there. And now, if I put this on the switch that's in the water that I can't see because of the camera being absolutely terrible. Please, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. And then drop that. That opens that, allowing the orb to drop in. There we go. That was a lot more painful than it needed to be, but anyway. Now, let's have a look at... Um, treasure chest because there's probably at least one in here that I need to find. It's probably over this way though, so. Somewhere. Where are you, chest? I know you're here. No? Definitely haven't got any chests in here, so maybe it's with the other, in the other rooms. Now that the water is drained. Oh my goodness, that's spinning now. Oh my goodness. I've had experience with things spinning that don't stop spinning. Okay, so, oh, I see. Down there, there's a little opening now. Cool. That's actually really cool. Open that. Silver Longsword. Although the Zora prefer spears to swords, they made this two-handed weapon using a special a metal. It found popularity among Hylians for its unique design. It's really cool looking. Okay, what weapons? This is about to break. I can probably get rid of that. So, let me just do that then. Goodbye. There we go. Now, let's finish up in the shrine since that is all the chests in here. Just gonna walk through all this. Still spinning, oh my goodness. It's still spinning all over again. It's still spinning to the sequel. Well, now that that's done, let's go... Probably towards my blue marker, since that's what I said I was going to do. I also want to check at 
out what this is, so. La 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 la. Ah, you there. Over here, over here. I knew it. You are a Hylian, aren't you? Yes, you must be a Hylian. Otherwise, you're one unfortunate looking Zora. Well, your timing couldn't be more perfect if you tried. I was ordered by Prince Sidon to find a Hylian. I've been searching non-stop. Yes, quite. I certainly wasn't just floating around and splashing in the water for fun. Prince Siren is a member of the distinguishing, dis distinguished Zora royal family. He's waiting at Indigo Bridge, in in Inogo Bridge, which is on the other side of that t toll tower. I do hope you'll agree to go there and meet with him. Ah uh, yes, you must be taken aback by such a sudden request. My apologies. For Asora, this is our top priority right now. Uh? So I must beg you to grant my request. Oh, and if you do meet Prince Sidon, perhaps don't tell him I was splashing about and playing in the water. Deal? Seems good to me. There's also a thing in here that I can get if I want to, so... Let's have a look at it, and let's see. Fleet Lotus Seeds. Let's have a look at it. The plant that bears these seeds grows near deep water. The roots draw uh, nutri nutrients from the water which boost your movement speed when the seeds are cooked into a dish. So very cool. There's a few around here that we can grab, so let's just do that. And now we've been summoned by the Zora to help them with stuff, so I guess that's probably our first where we're going to go. I have a particular way that I like to order out the main story missions, so I'm probably going to do that in the way that I think is best, so going to the Zora is what I would recommend doing first. And now, let's go to our other marker since that's what I said I was going to do. Although, I don't know why, where the path is and how to follow it, so could be difficult, I, although I'm probably just going to cut across most of it, or most of this area, since I can. Also, I'm pretty sure this entire area is able to be used with Crayonis, so... If you want to go absolutely insane and use Crayonis here, you can. Now, I'm going to follow this because I think this is what I need to follow to get to that shrine, somewhat. Some more restless crickets. I think I took a picture of one. Pretty sure. I feel like there's supposed to be more right where I am right now for some reason. I could just be crazy. But I feel like there's a Korok around here. Just, just feels like there should be one. I think if I use stasis, I have the highest chance of finding where one would be. So. What is this rock? Oh, it's a thing to go in the well. Okay, well, let's just... Ow! Take out this Zalfos. They're kind of annoying. And we've already seen one thing like this before back on the Great Plateau, so... Shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Just need to not get the chain wrapped up and then put it back in the well. Hello, Mr. Korok. I did find you, didn't I? Let's grab all oh, Lizalfos Talon. This Talon once grew from the elbow of Lizalfos. That's weird. You can stew it in uh, uh stew it with critters to make elixirs, but you it may have some other uses as well. Okay, good to know. Can I have a more... Ow? Can I have a more quick weapon? Thank you. Oh my goodness, you just jump over me and get stuck in the ground, okay. Oh my goodness, hit him, please. Oh my goodness, so close. There we go. Just like that. That was a lot just for a... Lizalfos, but that's just how it is. Have I taken a picture of a tree branch? I feel like I would have, but, you know... I really just can't branch out with my jokes, can I? I'm just stumped at how many I can make. 
there a, another one? Okay, no. Uh, which way am I going? Probably this way. There's some ruins over there that I can head to, so... Probably will go there. As long as there's no deep water in the way. Which there probably is. Knowing this game. There's some smoke coming from there. There's also another Lizarfos just... Playing around. Okay. Oh my goodness, he got stuck in the ground. Absolute fool. Absolute fool. Oh my goodness, good dodge. There we go. Some water buffalo. Scared most of them off, but they should have some good meat on them. Raw prime meat, a fresh, high quality piece of animal meat. This stuff isn't easy to come by, so savor it, cook it into a meal. Well, cook it to recover more hearts. I can read. <laughs> as long as I'm not tired. Which I usually am. But anyway, we're very close to that shrine now, which is good. Also, some smoke coming from here, so there's something else here that I can take a look at. Oh, the enemies, okay. Well then. Already have that. I can probably take them all on that all at once, right? This is just fine. Oh, he's got electric arrows. Just as he does, okay. Gonna take all that out and then take a picture of this probably. Spike Boko Bow. Have I not seen one of these before? An upgraded Boko Bow bound with animal bone to boost its durability and firepower. Its craftsmanship is sloppy, but it's light and and easy to use. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, hello. Hey, I haven't taken a picture of a spiked poker club. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, back up, 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 I really need to actually cook some meals again, I think. Ow. Just gonna brute force through most of this, probably. Ow. Ow. There we go. Also, a new type of weapon. Rusty Claymore. Also spiked Boko Spear. A Boko Spear enhanced with sh sharpened animal bones. It's light and easy to use and deals a decent amount of damage. Rusty Claymore, a two-handed sword not properly cared for. Although it can be use, used as a weapon, its durability is very low. Don't expect it to last for more than a few strikes. Okay then. That was a pretty alright battle considering it lasted about 10 seconds. Anyway, I feel like there's also a cork in these ruins. I just want to find out because it would be good to have more Korok. Knight's Halberd, a spear used by knights adept in mounted combat. This spearhead is modeled after an axe. Okay, well, let's get rid of that over the wall. And let's grab this. I'm normally very concerned about getting everything in the Hyrule Compendium, but I'm, I'm fairly alright for the moment, so... Anyway... Now that all that is done, I guess, let's have a look at this. Some Zap Shroom. This mushroom grows wild in the Garuda region. The cap is naturally insulated, so when used in cooking, it will offer protection against electricity. So yeah, we can 
be protected against electricity if we use that in a uh, in a meal. Oh, you there. Over here. I'm over here. I apologize for calling you so suddenly. I am Lido, a proud member of the distinguished Zora. Are you a real Hylian? I had no choice but to call upon you. Will you please spare me a moment of your time? Sure thing. Thank you so very much. Do you see that tower? The one atop the mountain yonder? I need you to go upstream of, of Zora River, which runs along the north side of that tower, Inogo Bridge, to Inogo Bridge. I can see it in your eyes. You're asking yourself, why me? A reasonable question for a stranger accustomed to passing, uh, account, accosted by a passing Zora in such a manner. But I must assure you, this venture will be very profitable for you as well. You see, Prince Sidon of the Zora is in desperate search of a strong Hylian. And as this is a royal request from the prince himself, it's safe to assume a generous reward is in the cards. That is why I'm, I am asking you to meet with Prince Sidon at Inogo Bridge, along the Zora River just upstream of here. So we've met another Zora that wants me to go to Zora's domain. So obviously there's more than one, so it makes it more likely to be picked up on so you actually go there. Anyway, let's climb up this to make it easier to get to the shrine. But as we can see, the shrine is also surrounded by spikes. Although it's a bit, a bit hard to see from here, but that's definitely what's there, so... There are a few ways to, to deal with that. One is to start a lot of fires all in a small area so it creates an updraft. You can also just burn it down so it's gone, but... Anyway, I'm probably just going to set it on fire and then keep going about my day. Please start more fires. Nope. Let's try a little bit higher, maybe. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Okay, let's go. There's also a Lizalfos over here that's trying to get in my way, but it's not going to work. There we go. Let's head in. But I think that's also with this episode of Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.